Hi everybody, we're out here again. Shoe came. Uh, I'm gonna go back and see what our voltages are. If I can get there. <coughs> Twelve point six four volts. And it is about two thirty in the morning. Using 18 amps on AC. I believe the pump is running in there. And 5.5 on 110 and no charge. Wanted to get out here during the full moon to see if there was any charge off the moon, but didn't make it. So, gonna go wander around here and get stuff together and probably just go to bed. But I thought I'd check in real quick. We'll be back. Oh, that's Sue's crotch rocket. Hi, we're up and wandering around. Sue's making coffee in her off-grid microscopic coffee pot. Probably an off-grid radioactive man eating coffee pot. Special off-grid plug. It's a what? A? It off has an off-grid off plug. Yeah. She brought her off-grid north, south, east, and west. You can tell it's off-grid because it's upside down. We had a flock of birds out here and they were off-grid man-eating radioactive birds. I'm going to go back and see what the voltages are, just for the heck of it. <clears throat> Charging at 28 amps, 31 amps, 33 amps. I can't get back there to press the little buttons to see what's doing what. We're at 13.6 volts, 13.59. And we have 4.4 volts going out on 110, or 4.4 amps. Uh, 12, let's see, on the 12 volt system, we've got 5 amps going out. And the solar to batteries right now is 17.5 amps. So everything's looking good. I want to go back there and see what's doing what somehow. Okay, the east is at 4.79 amps. The roof is 6.39 amps. And the west is 1.8 amps. And the other roof is 2.5 amps. So everything's charging. Okay, what we're gonna do today, I think, What we're going to do today is finish this. I'd like to use up some of that drywall if at all possible because it's just in the way. We need to use up some of that foam also. We've got a lot of foam left over. I ended up not putting foam up there, which it's not going to be an issue. That stuff, the insulation that we put in up there last week has fluffed. It's expanded. And it's really packing those holes tight. So everything's working good. Um, Sue brought some stuff that might be in the way until we get it put away. And that's about it. Got a lot to a lot to do. It is 75 degrees outside. It's really nice. Really nice. We got some rain while we were gone. I'll get over there and find out how much rain water is in the tank, just for the heck of it. I'm doing all this so I have some kind of a mental record of uh, what we get, what we don't get. I think that's going to be kind of important. A flock of birds has gone away. So, well, back to work.
Yeah, we've been working on the ceiling a little bit. Um, got two of those up, but I have to get rid of all this junk before I can uh, finish it over there. And I'm also going to run a 110 line down in the corner here. I don't know why, but I guess I am. So we'll have 110 over here also. <coughs> uh, we got a ceiling fan up. That's a hunter ceiling fan. And it all works. How about that? So back to work. Oh, I didn't put it. Press record. Darn it, don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah, because then I have to suck in my stomach again. Oh, man. That's going to cause stress and strain. Yes. We've got a little more drywall up. we got that pile cleaned out over there, and that's what we really needed because we couldn't get to the ceiling up there. So tomorrow we'll finish the ceiling. We're going to put a light in that corner because the chairs will be over there. Uh, going to be putting boxes in where those wires are sticking out of the wall. And uh, we got to head to town and get food. Uh, it's Veterans Day, so we're going to eat out. Thank you for your service, all you veterans out there. Okay, Sue is trying to work on this back. I think she is cutting foam. Yep, Sue is cutting foam. See, smile, Sue. Thank you. Haven't taken a shower this morning. My hair is everywhere. You haven't taken a shower this morning and your hair is everywhere. How can you tell? I don't know, because there's no mirror in this house. So. Good. I have no clue. There's creatures in the mirror. <clears throat> really have no clue. We took a few things out back here just to get them out of the way. I think she's going to insulate that wall, which we need to get done badly. And we got some more wires in. We moved the thermostat. Uh, put a 110 in over there because the air, for the air conditioner it's going to end up over there on that wall eventually. And a 12 volt line. Get a different kind of wiring box. It's a little bit easier to use. Moved. We took out the light that was inside here and rewired it to over there. So that switches here now. Off and on, off and on. Yay! And this one here will be for those lights when we get them in on both sides. And that actually is controlled by that switch over there on that side too. So we got switches all over the place. Um, that's about it for now. We ended up going to town last night. We bought a door, which I might try and put in. And uh, stuff to work on that door and more insulation. So for the moment, I guess what I need to do is get some insulation up over here. It's going to be a little bit tougher than the rest of them have been. But uh, I need to get some insulation up and get this section here finished. We're going to put a, about a two to three inch trim board on all the seams in here. That'll help hold it up. But back to work. Okay, we got all but one little piece of, I'll take the lens cap off, got all of one little piece of uh, insulation up, or whatever that stuff is, paneling to put up there. 
got everything in that needs to go in as far as lighting. And 110, everything's in there. Um, cleaned out this room so you can see the floor. We got that corner insulated, which it wasn't insulated before. Now it is. We're going to put a piece of plywood up down there too, and it'll be for hanging stuff. What else? Sue got that wall insulated. We got most of the holes sealed up, the bug holes up there where the wires go through. And I think that's about it for the moment. Um, all the lighting in the house, every light in here is going to be 12 volt, so that's working out really well. Not necessarily all the everything else, but all the lighting is going to be 12 volt. So it all works. That's doing pretty good. So back to work. Doing all this work today made a heck of a lot more room in here. We got all this cleaned up. Sue's making a door for the uh, for right there, so we can seal that off. And uh, that's going to help. She does such good work. You ever had those eyeballs just kind of peer right through you, like you're going I to need dissolve? That. I need oh, to sorry. This foam has only got an insulation value of about an R3, I think. I think we looked it up. Broncos are in there on the TV doing their best at losing. Pretty much par. I had to grow up with the Broncos, so I'm not a big fan. I grew up with the Broncos, and I am a big fan. You didn't have to put up with them when I had to put up with them. Yeah, it's because you're old. <clears throat> Alright. Gonna try it again. Correctly this time. She's gonna try it again. Second try for this. We're drinking uh, Fireball and Verner's. Good stuff. I'll get that. Let's gonna put this up. Oh, here. Somebody's got to. Okay, that's In locked. My LuLaRoe leggings, everybody. I have friends. I have friends in LuLaRoe places. Oh boy. Very comfy. Why don't you put the the tent part out this way? Because it'll be scary in the night. Well, that's true. Anyhow, this is going to be it for tonight, probably for this trip. I'm thinking I may just turn around and come back, but I uh, haven't really decided yet. I'm glad I have somebody do all the work for me. Probably most likely going to turn around and come back, right back because I want to see if I can get that door in and get this door in. have to go and pick up a couple more sheets of drywall most likely. Now that's going to keep this side of the room, this side of the house pretty warm, I hope. It's 70 degrees in here now. Haha, ha, I drank it. You did. I did. But I'm going to get this video published. Y'all have fun out there.